Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises on and glory <clears throat> to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash. Lord willing, this is edifying lesson straight to the point. Now, I got a few articles um, lined up and some scriptures that I want to bring out. A couple couple scriptures I want to bring out through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Now, what's going on right now in the UK, as brothers may already know if you don't know, but the word is spreading fast that um, there's a new strain of this C19 virus, all right? And what a perfect time to have a new strain, right? Right at the end of the, at the, end of the year, December. You know why? So that... The beginning of the next year to come, 2021, will start a whole new chapter of calamity. <laughs> so, you know, that, hey, that's, that's, that's precise, you know, uh, moves from the Heavenly Father. You know, perfect pre uh, precision, so to speak. You know, for all those people praying and hoping that 2021 is going to be a better year. Well, no, it ain't. All right. It's not. Okay. They're not saying they spreading this, uh, this uh, fear mongering, I guess. That this new strain spreads faster and is more deadlier, so on and so forth. All right. And with that all being, you know, in, in the works, you have a lockdown. They're calling it the, a tier four lockdown that's going on in the UK right now. In other words, you know, as you see here in the article, I got a couple of articles. I'm going to read this one first. This is from the Yahoo Finance. Countries ac across the world ban flights from UK. Due to fast spreading new C19 strain. So countries across the world, uh, they, they ban anybody from coming in, anybody from the UK to coming into their country. That's privacy. All right. Why? Because of this new C19 strain. And all that's going to happen is that more restrictions, more draconian laws, more, more um, hammering the people and taking away their rights is going to happen. And this is going to lead to sedition among men. All right. So it says, um, reading on, this is from December 20, 20th, 2020, today, all right? It says, a number of countries, including Germany, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands, Austria, Belgium, and Israel have announced that they will not, I mean, they will ban flights from UK due to fears over a new variant of the C-19 virus, which could be 70% more infectious. The moves come after the Dutch government confirmed at least one case of the same mutation that has prompted parts of Britain to return to lockdown rules. And right now, they are in these lockdown rules, all right? The country's health ministry said the case in Holland had been identified at the beginning of December and it is being investigated. It is said that, it is said that the air travel ban from 5 a.m. on Sunday the 20th of December, which is today, will likely stay in place un until at least January 1st. Well, we will see about that, you know, because what they're doing is they're saying that nobody's going to be able to travel for so-called Christmas and blah, blah, blah. All right. So we'll see if they're going to extend this and make it a longer period thing. An infectious mutation of the C-19 virus is circulating in the UK. It is said to spread more easily and faster and is more difficult to detect. The Dutch health Ministry said in a statement, the UK recorded a, a further of 35,928 of the C-19 cases in the last, in the latest 24-hour period, another 326 deaths have been announced within 28 days of positive tests. So you had this devil, Kill Gates, who said, uh, you know, we all know that he said the first wave didn't get people's attention, but the second one will with a smirk on his face, you know, so... You know, you may see people actually literally really dropping dead from this new strain that they claim to, you know, have running around, you know, or spreading around. All right. So I'm going to stop that article, go to the next one. And every, all the articles that I'm going to bring out, low one, I'll link it, link it in the description box. So this is from TheGuardian.com. It says, um, COVID tier four, what are the new rules for London and Southeast England? Says, which is also published today. Boris Johnson has announced new tier four restrictions for London, the southeast and east of England, 
amid a surge of the C-19 cases, an alarm about a new strain of C-19 spreading rapidly in the region. So it goes on to say, what what does Tier 4 means? Um, under the Tier 4 restriction, non-essential shops, hairdressers and, le hairdressers and leisure entertainment venues must close with the new stay-at-home message introduced. People who need to travel for education or child care are exempt and exercise is unlimited. Where people cannot work from home, they will still be able to travel to work. Under the, me under the measure, households are not allowed to mix. But one person is allowed to meet with one person outside in a public space. And that just sounds straight up, you know, ridiculous because eventually these things, they're going to try to make these things law and then people are going to get fined and arrested for not complying. So this is what this devil is doing. Those are the, those are the draconian laws speaking as a dragon, like the scriptures tell you in Revelation, the 13th chapter. You know, he speaks as a dragon. All right. This is how he's speaking as a dragon. It's going to get worse. It's going to intensify. All right, it's going to intensify. It's going to get. It's going to be a lot more restrictions. You know, people ain't going to be able to mix around. You know, they're gonna. You know, which is all tying into what they're trying to do, population control, which all goes into their newer order, which the heavenly Father is going to disrupt it. All right, I'm not going to read any more of that. Let me get. I'm gonna post it in the description box. Let me get the last article, which prompt um the lesson, and this is from the sun.co.uk. All right, and this is um. It says, cut off Londoners could be arrested for traveling home for Christmas as travel in and out of tier four outlawed. All right. So travel is officially outlawed right now as of, as of this moment. OK, due to this new strain that they're, you know, uh, yapping about. All right. And Londoners could be arrested. OK, if they try to travel and and do this and do that. So let's read a little bit of this. It says, um, let me go to the point. Here you see some people in a airport looking lost as hell, confused as hell, don't know what to do. <laughs> it says people would not be allowed to travel in and out of London. And here you have a lockdown map. And the lockdown return, you know, it's coming here to Babylon too. Here in New York, they 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 talking about having a lockdown after so called Christmas, which is um, what Thursday or Friday? Friday, I believe. You know, so they they talking about another lockdown. You know, people won't be able to get together for so-called New Year's like they always did. Just like the last New Year's, people all got together, went out there to to, to watch the ball drop. All of that is dead. Okay, all of that died in 2019. All right, in the very beginning of 2020, it's all dead. Okay. So it says, speaking today, Boris said as PM. It is my duty to take the difficult decision to do what is right. Part of the restrictions also mean Brits could be arrested if they try to travel in or out of the capital or other tier four regions, which they broke it down into different regions. You can check out the map to, to you know see what that is. All right, tier four is on lockdown. Tier three is very high risk. Tier two, high risk. And one is medium risk. You know, so nobody here is, at, is in a safe Okay, so it says, um, where was uh, it says locals have been told they must not stay overnight from home if they live in tier four. All this is is tightening, it's pressure from above, pressure from below. All right, tightening that squeeze on the people. All right, tightening that squeeze, making their lives um con um ultimately uncomfortable, so that the only way. You know, so eventually they'll be begging back for that comfortability. That's why Esau gave people all these damn, you know, the glamour and glitz, the 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 uh, bread and circuses, and you know the entertainment. He gave you all of that. He, he fluffed you up with it. He puffed you. He fed you. It's like oh, uh, he he. Uh, scripture said that on uh, how it go, but he pretty much fattened you up. All right, he fattened you up for the slaughter. All right, now he gonna take it away, and then the only way to get it back is. For you to go begging for it and complying, you know, with his rules and regulations, ultimately worshiping the beast in his image, you know, and then he, then there you go. You got you got set up right for the slaughter, and that's for these people out here in this world. It says Boris Johnson today canceled Christmas for millions. He put London, the South East, and the East in tier four lockdown. The new strains of the of the virus 
which causes C19 may be up to 70% more transmittable. All bridges have been told to stay local during the te uh, festive seasons. Christmas bubbles in tier 1, 2, and 3 have been cut to just 24 hours in Dece on December 25th. Non-essential shops and gyms in tier 4 areas must be closed from midnight. No more gyms, no more non-essentials, no more barber shops, no more, you know, all these other, you know, you know, BS stores. Oh, everything is shut down. All right. I'll post the rest of this in the description box also. Let me go to the scriptures. All right. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2. And I'll go straight to the point. It says, um, I'll go straight to the point, verse 9. And when I look, matter of fact, I'll start up. I'll, I'll start at 6. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee. And thou doest uh, dwell among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, neither, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. This is talking about Ezekiel when he goes to speak to the house of Israel. All right, because the house of Israel are uh, wicked, rebellious, unruly people, two thirds, you know, at least. All right. And it says, verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. All right, so that's what we do, and that's why we do these lessons. To speak, because the Lord commanded us to speak to the house of Israel, whether they're going to hear or whether they're going to forbear. All right? Because um, in the same book of Ezekiel, the Lord said that he would make um, Ezekiel's mouth to cleave to, his tongue to cleave to his mouth. Meaning he won't be speaking to the house of Israel anymore, you know, at a certain point. And that's what's going to happen eventually. The words of this Bible, the words of this book is going to be hard to hard for people to get it, to receive it. These videos, these lessons, seeking that comfort, okay? It's going to be, you know, pretty much obsolete for people real soon. You know? You saw it's taking away everybody's freedom. And part of people's freedom is social media to express yourself, all right? The ability to express yourself and be be free and be who you are is about to, you know, you're about to take that away too. And they do that through YouTube. People, you know, they do them YouTube videos and blah, blah, blah. But really, they want to come after, you know, the prophets, those that are pushing the word of the Lord. So it says, verse 8, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I gave thee. So the Lord said to Ezekiel, don't be rebellious like the rebellious house. But open your mouth and eat that I gave thee. So just like, you know, in our stead and, not, you know, and for us brothers from, you know, from the apostles on down, you know, the Lord gave us the word and he commands us to go and speak unto the house of Israel. Because you got certain people, certain Israelites that may hear the word and then they, they go ahead and be rebellious and not do as the Lord commanded because that all goes back to rebellion. If you got this word, you got this truth, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and you're not preaching the word. Then you being rebellious, just like the, the rest of the house of Israel. Okay, so that's why the Lord told Ezekiel to open thy mouth and eat that I gave thee. Verse 9 says, And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. Was the book. This, this is the book, the prophecies, the Bible. All right, the words of the Bible. It says, And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe, lamentation, mourning, and woe, which all ties into grief, okay, people are going to be griefing, you know, heavily in these days to come, 2021 is going to be a very um, lamenting, uh, mourning, and woeful year, all right, as if 2020 wasn't enough, 2021, a lot of people of this world is going to be in for a major, huge surprise, all right, because the Lord is bringing these prophecies to pass and he will not turn back on them. You know, he will not turn back on them. And he, these are the signs that, you know, that um the Lord spoke about. All right. So this is second Ezra chapter 15. And the point is here at um 17, but I'll start up above. I'll read at um 12. Egypt shall mourn in the foundation of of it shall be smitten with plague, with the plague and a punishment that Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai shall bring upon it. Egypt is talking about Babylon, America. Okay, America, Babylon, the great virgin daughter Babylon, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. Okay, 
all these different words and, and different kingdoms that the Lord called it. You know, the scriptures call it. So Egypt is going to mourn. It says, they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed, shall fail through the blasting in the hill and with fearful constellation. All right, which, you know, what's going to happen here too? Food shortage. Okay, it's going to be a major food shortage, a famine, lack of bread. All right, people are going to starve. All right, people are going to kill for the next meal. All right. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Okay, because again, pressure from above, pressure from below. Order out of chaos. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in the power. So sedition has been happening, and there's going to be more sedition to come. As the squeeze gets tighter, people are going to rebel even more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? Some people are going to go right along and, and comply. But I believe um, even out there in, in the UK, there were, there were um, many different forms of protest against the mandatory vaccines and, and so on and so forth. So they tightening them, you know, tightening up with them out there in the UK. Restrictions are tighter. They were the first to get the vaccines, you know. So... They ain't going to regard their kings nor princes. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And this is this is the point. And we see in this prophecy happening in real time. All right? This is this is the cause. What we're seeing today in the world is the, is the, is the cause of this prophecy coming to pass. All right? Because they're they are locking down borders, which they did this in the beginning of the year or the middle of the year. But they tightening it up with the restrictions. All right? People are desiring to go into the city, but they can't because of the fear of the spread of the so-called virus. All right. So a man shall desire to go into the city and should not be able. You know, because there's gonna come a time where people eventually gonna gonna fold and they, you know, they're gonna crack and then they're gonna get the vaccine and then eventually they're gonna get the chip and then they'll be able to travel and, and do business as usual for a period of time. You know? For a period of time, because eventually he gonna come down with that squeeze, man. All right, you're going to come down real tight, you know? So a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So because of their pride, the great pride of uh, America, Babylon the Great, and, and these other countries that are, that are in league with America, Babylon, all right? Cities are going to be troubled because all people have walked, all the wicked have walked proud against the Heavenly Father. All right, they they um they they were um gave no account for the laws of the scriptures. Like the scriptures say that when they had yet liberty and a place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not, but they despised and loathed that the Lord, the Lord, man. You know, so that's that pride. People are gonna be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. Men shall be afraid. People are gonna be running up in people's houses, you know, with their guns, their weapons, their swords, in packs, or solo, you know, taking whatever you got, taking whatever people got. You know, it says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's what's about to happen. All right. That's going to happen. It's going to increase. 2021 is going to be a hell of a year. All right. It's going to be a hell of a year, man. So, you know, we just going through the spread of how about Shemel Shaki watching for the prophecies. You know, uh, keep keep blowing the trumpet, you know, sounding that alarm in Zion, you know, until the Heavenly Father sends the Son to do his thing, man. All right, so, you know. Oh, yeah, and there's another article right here, too, that um that brothers I sent, or that I seen yesterday. It says, this is from um CNN Politics. It says, heated Oval Office meeting included talk of martial law. All right. Now, let me read this real quick. It says an Oval Office meeting with President Donald Trump that included Sidney Powell and her client, Michael Flynn, began as an impromptu gathering, but quickly developed Two people familiar with the matter said CNN. Jeremy Diamond reports screaming matches out of, let me see what I say, out of certain points as some Trump's 
uh, some of Trump's aside pushed back on Powell and Finn's suggestion. Now, they were arguing about, let me see if I can pull up the argument. They were arguing about pretty much uh, martial law, all right, and, and the, the elections and Trump trying to overrun, overturn the elections or uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, we are learning of a heated Oval Office meeting Friday where Trump allies floated ideas of ways to overturn the election. I want to go straight to CNN's Jeremy Diamond. Jeremy, just when we thought we couldn't hear anything crazier, what are we learning about this meeting? Well, it's very clear that as President Trump continues to refuse to accept that he lost this presidential election to President-elect Joe Biden, the president is also still consulting aides and allies for more ways that he could possibly move to continue to contest this election or at least undermine the legitimacy of Joe Biden's election as the 46th president of the United States. We're told that on Friday the president met with uh, Michael Flynn, uh, the former national security advisor, uh, who was pardoned by the president despite having pled guilty to counts of lying to the FBI and his attorney, Sidney Powell, who has been trafficking these deranged conspiracy theories about the 2020 election that have been roundly and thoroughly debunked. Uh, the president, nonetheless, during this meeting, apparently was talking about potentially naming Sidney Powell uh, as a special counsel within the government to investigate voter fraud in the 2020 election, despite a total lack of evidence of any widespread voter fraud in this election. And he also discussed, uh, apparently, this idea uh, that Michael Flynn has brought up recently uh, about using martial law uh, to uh, rerun the 2020 presidential election. I want you to listen to this uh, crackpot idea brought up by Michael Flynn recently uh, on another network, and then we'll talk about it. He could order the, the um, in, within the swing states, if he wanted to, he could take military capabilities and he could place them in those states and basically rerun an election in each of those states. I mean, it's not unprecedented. I mean, these people out there talking about martial law, it's like it's something that we've never done. We've done, the martial law has been instituted 64, 64 times. Now, it is not clear uh, at all that that idea is being seriously considered, but it did come up in this meeting in the Oval Office. Uh, we should also note that the military has made very clear that they would never be involved in any efforts as it relates to overturning the results of the election or determining who the next president will be. That is a job for the voters and for the electors who have already chosen Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. And we should also point out that many of these ideas being floated by Sidney Powell and Michael Flynn, while they were enticing to the president, they apparently uh, drew a, a significant backlash from some of the president's advisors, including the White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, and the White House chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Uh, in fact, sources are telling us that uh, the meeting devolved into a screaming match at times, uh, one source calling it, quote, ugly, uh, as uh, Flynn and Powell accused the president's advisors of not pushing hard enough to overturn the results of the 2020 election. What is clear beyond is that this effort is continuing. And a source told me earlier this week uh, that the president has even floated with some advisors staying at the White House past in inauguration day before being talked down from that ledge. But it is clear that the president is engaging with some of these very dangerous and concerning ideas. The question is how far he will continue to take it. Uh, we will have to wait and see on that one. Yep. So there you have it. You know, you know, Trump is talking about, you know, martial law. But this time, like they try to say, they try to water down the concept of declaring martial law. But this time it's going to be different because here it is. We are in a national emergency or a global pandemic all right where they already have military set up to distribute you know vaccines to people you know what i'm saying so this time it's going to be different because as the scriptures say and um <clears throat> matter of fact maybe i'll close out with this one as the scriptures say in second as nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs which I have told thee before, then thou sh then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So all this other 64 times that they declare martial law, the end was not in sight the way that it is right now. So we are living in a different type of time. Even for people that say, for example, you had, um, uh, I was watching a video of Apostle Hall when he was t um, t pretty much comment commentating on the video that Captain Tazariak had did from the ISUPK. When he brought up the 2009 um, H1N1 situation, well, 2009 situation ain't nothing compared to 2020 situation with C19. That's why the scriptures say measure thou the time diligently in itself, all right, so that you can know 
exactly what time we're living in. Now, we know without the shadow of a doubt that we are living at the end. And this man, we know and understand through the spirit of the Lord that he has an agenda and the scriptures talk about his agenda. All right. And he is playing right into, you know, right into the um, he's playing his cards and, and 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 his cards are being shown. All right. The exact agenda, the next moves that he's going to be make that he's going to make, you know, and through the spirit of the Lord, um, Amos 3 and 7 says that the Lord revealed his secret to the servants, the prophets. So we see clearly. What this man is setting up, all right, 2020, um, 2019, H1N1, they didn't shut down the entire earth. They didn't destroy uh, millions and millions of businesses, all right? They didn't uh, cripple the housing markets and, and people had to put their house off for sale and this and that and that and this. We live in a totally different type of time, man, all right? And if you can't see it, man, you better pray that Yahweh Bashmi Shai can open your eyes to see it. And if you don't, if you don't, then, I mean, it is what it is, right? So... Hey, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson to the elect. Till next time, I say shallow one.